Hey guys, there's been a recent data mine in Animal Crossing New Horizons and this brings through a lot of possible new features for the game that are really, really worth being excited about. One of them is two museum upgrades. An additional two upgrades to your museum. I really think this should happen. Like, it makes sense though. Like, when you go in the museum, you see there is a staircase and a staircase that go up and they meet each other. And then you just come back down again. It's like, why are there staircases here? It's like the first thing I was like, what the hell's the point of this? So I imagine something would be in that section up there. Like, that's how I would imagine it. There's also two additional buildings. It refers to it as two additional buildings, not part of the actual museum. But there is a museum shop and a museum cafe, which is quite interesting because you'd think they would actually be in the museum. Or maybe it is. I don't know. They'll have to, like... We'll have to see if it ever does happen, how it will work. In the cafe, there's also things called gyroids or gyroids. I actually don't really know what that means. If you do know, let me know in the comments below. I think it's referencing something from one of the previous games. And as I've never played Animal Crossing before this one, I have no idea what the gyroids mean. And even Googling it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like some weird shapes. Like, what? And you could, like, turn into one of them? I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's so confusing. There's also a character called Red or Crazy Red. He also goes by Tsunekichi, which is his, like, Japanese name. Apparently, he's, like, a black market kind of dude where he will be selling things that are extremely rare and hard to get. And also, in the past, he's been known to sell pieces of art. So maybe we'll get, like, an art section to the museum or something like that. I don't know. Like, it, there's a lot of options that we can look at here. And it also plays on the forgery. You can um, basically buy things from him that might be fake. And if you're trying to, like, donate it at the museum... Uh, Blathers ain't gonna take no fake things, so apart from what I've read, at least. So you kind of have to take a like a, a chance there. Like, are you gonna buy the fake thing, or are you gonna buy it in hopes that it's the real thing? Obviously, it will be very difficult to tell. They say that he might have a secret beach stop at the north of the island where there's a little bit of sand. They say his ship might come there and stop over there, and you'll be able to trade with him. Probably like how some of the villagers or people show up on your island on random days, like like Kicks shows up to sell shoes or or a label comes there for like some modeling sessions, which is <laughs> kind of odd because I always got to try wear wearing weird clothes. There's also mention of bushes being added to the game. This actually, this sounds good because we can actually maybe get an, a more interesting way to decorate the island other than flowers, weeds, <laughs> not that weeds are really decoration to be honest, but it's the closest thing to a bush and then trees. So having an actual bush sounds cool. It mentions bushes like azalea, azalea, azalea my god dude, hibiscus, <laughs> holly, hydrangea, camellia, and osmanthus. <laughs> I have no idea how, how to pronounce some of these things. Okay, there's also vegetables in the game that you'll be able to plant and grow. And that sounds cool. That sounds like farming. Farming sounds cool. Like, I want to farm. I want to... I'm already mapping out a farm in my game, like, in my head right now. And there is going to be tomatoes, wheat, sugarcane, potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. At least those are the ones that are mentioned in the data mine. There'll also be a new Critterpedia for seafood. So... This, obviously, maybe linking back to the cafe, maybe we'll be able to actually make some cooking dishes, make some food. You know, we're getting all these things. I don't know if we can really eat all of them, because most of them are bugs, and I suppose the fish we could eat. That's probably why we have a seafood cr critterpedia. So we'll probably be able to make seafood, which is very interesting. We'll probably have to take, like, different ingredients that we find. And there are 33 items included in that seafood critterpedia. The manila clam, the one that we make fish bait with is actually included in this list. There's also talk of a third Nook's Cranny update, meaning that it's going to turn into something even bigger, which which makes sense because if you look at it right now, it seems still pretty basic after like the second upgrade or like the technically the first upgrade because you first you first get the cranny, then there's an update, and then there's there's a new one that will supposedly happen here, which is the third upgrade. I don't know why it says third upgrade, because it's technically a second upgrade, if you think about it, because the first one was the construction. There's also mention of swimming being added to the game, which means you can dive to catch fish, or even seaweed, which is a mechanic in previous games, as, as I've read up online, apparently. That sounds pretty interesting. It, as long as it's not like me trying to catch fish with a fishing rod and the thing doesn't like let me catch it because how many times I press the button too early or 
it leaves before I can press the button. <laughs> Some of those fish are fast, dude. Like, especially the rare ones. So, I think it'll be interesting to catch new fish like that. There is some mention there that these aren't specifically the same fish that we can catch normally with fishing rods. So, these might be different types of fish that we can catch using the diving into the, you know, the, the water method and some swimming, I guess. I wonder if you can, like, free roam swim or if it's, like, swimming, like... Yeah, you jumped in the water and then you have to like jump out. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There's also mention of a gardening shop, which is quite interesting. Uh, I wonder what we could get there. I mean, I'm imagining maybe something in the Nook's Cranny or something as adjacent to the Nook's Cranny that will basically go more in depth of like that little closet that's in the the Nook's Cranny where you can buy like seeds and like shovels and and random things like that. That seems like a gardening little cabinet thing that we can use maybe that's going to turn into like a a fully fledged gardening shop where we can buy flowers and perhaps all different other things and to go along with the cooking there will be a diy cooking recipes section that's currently not used in the game but it's hidden there in the data mines kind of data so i'm guessing cooking is coming to the game it does make sense with the seafood critopedia Cooking is obviously going to be a way to use these certain fish that we catch while we go swimming, maybe, and, you know, cook them up. I don't know. That, it could be something. And going back to the museum, there might be possible art collecting. I, that, That's, like, full-on speculation. That's me taking a little bit of the data mine and kind of, like, putting one and one together, saying maybe there is a art kind of section coming to the game that's not really fully mentioned in the data mine, but because of a lot of mention of Tsunekichi uh, or Crazy Red, as I've mentioned before, from the black market who sells art and stuff. And obviously the museum, I mean, could have an art section. Like, you know, if it's having a museum shop and a museum like cafe that are two additional buildings, you can kind of imagine maybe the museum just having an upgrade to itself that has a art section. And then maybe an upgrade on top of that that just increases something. I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't think of what the museum would have for two additional upgrades. So yeah, that's it. Basically what I could take from this data mining information and what I thought was interesting and just letting you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are hoping for some of these features as much as I am. I'm really hoping for the fruits, dude. Like the, I'm sorry, the vegetables. Like growing my own fruit farm or vegetable farm. Same thing. It's just, well, diff but different. Same, same, but different. All right, dudes. So I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching.